Hi everyone, my name is Zihan Lin, a graduate student from Yemen University of China. Today, I will share the work from our lab named Improving Graph Collaborative Filtering with Neighborhood Enriched Contrastive Learning. Nowadays, with the rapid development of web, people spend more time on many internet applications, such as streaming media, and online shopping. In these platforms, recommend a system occupy an important position to discover users' preference and deliver online service efficiently. In the recommendation field, collaborative filtering is a classic approach whose key idea is to recommend similar items to similar user. Therefore, capturing the similarity among users and items is the most vital part of collaborative filtering algorithms. Recent years, graph collaborative filtering methods have received more and more attention as they get outstanding performance compared with the other methods. These methods model the interaction data as graphs and learn user and atom representations by graph neural networks. Several famous models like NGCF and LightGCN have achieved outstanding performance, and the architecture is followed by later works. However, the user item inter interaction data is usually sparse or noise, which affects the robustness of these models. Recently, several works try to leverage contrastive learning to aggregate the problem such as SGL. However, their method lack consideration on how to construct more meaningful contrastive learning tests tailored for the recommendation. Also, their methods are inefficient as GN should be run over multiple augmented graphs. Facing these two issues, we consider that there exist multiple kinds of partition relations that are useful to the recommendation test, such as user similarity, and we can design a more effective contrastive learning approach tailored for collaborative filtering on graph. And it should be conducted in node level, which is more efficient than the graph level. As we mentioned above, conduct contrastive learning between a node and the augmented nodes. Neglect is the graph structure that link different nodes. Therefore, a straight consideration is to additional conduct contrastive learning with structural neighbors. Structural neighbors refers to structurally connected neighbors by high order paths. Well, structural neighbors would be seriously disturbed by some noise edge. So we additional consider those semantically similar nodes, which we name as semantic neighbors. They can be found in the representation space. Before we detailly introduce our approach, we firstly define the problem given a user set U item site A and the interaction between them. We can conduct a biparty graph G and the target is to learn a representation for each user and item to make recommendation. Here we go into the approach proposed by this work, NCL, which is short for Neighborhood Enriched Contrastive Learning. It contains two parts combining contrastive learning within the propagation of GNN and learning semantic neighbors with EM algorithms. For the GNN architecture, we completely follow LightGCN, which discusses the non-line activation and the feature transformation in the propagation function. Then the representation of all layers are combined and adopt inner product 
to predict the preference for VPR loss is used for optimization. For contrastive learning with structural neighbors, we construct the representation of each node with the representation of its high order neighbors and treat all other nodes as negative samples to conduct the contrastive learning in the way of info NCE. The loss on users and items are calculated similarly and merged by a hyperparameter alpha. Then a problem arises. How to efficiently obtain high order neighbors representation? Directly use the matrix multiplication to get a homogeneous graph of users or items is costly. So we utilize the output of even GN layer to gather representation. For node representations, we just use the raw input embedding vectors. And for the representation of high order neighbors, we use the output vectors after propagate for even times, such as two or four. For contrastive learning with semantic neighbors, we identify the semantic neighbors by learning the latent prototype for each user and item. The alignment is conducted between each user or item and their prototype. As the prototype of each user cannot be found for height, we treat it as a latent factor and formulate the goal of model in a log likelihood function. Then try to optimize its lower bound. This function can be optimized by EM algorithm. In E step, the representation of users are fixed, and we use k means to find the cluster center of each user. In M step, the prototypes are fixed and we optimize the representation of users. The whole process can be conducted in, in, interactively for the optimization of our proposed method. We treat the proposed two contrastive learning laws as supplementary and leverage a multi-test learning strategy to jointly train the traditional ranking laws and the proposed contrastive laws. To verify the effectiveness of the proposed model NCL, we conduct extensive experiments on five public recommendation datasets. The datasets have different scale in users, items, and density and they are widely used by previous works. We compare our method with multiple competitive baselines, achieving the best performance among the compared methods. We also conduct the ablation study to analyze the contribution of two kinds of neighbors. We observe that removing the relation between each kind of neighbors leads to the performance decrease well, the two variants are both perform better than the baseline, that's GCM. It indicates that explicitly modeling both kinds of relations will benefit the performance in graph collaborative filtering. Besides, these two relations complement each other and improve the performance in different aspects. Besides, we split the users in movie lens and the yet data set into five groups based on their interaction number. While keeping the total number of interaction in each group constant, then we compare the recommendation performance of NCL and the light GCN on each groups. We find that the performance of NCL is consistently better than light GCN. Meanwhile, the performance gap becomes bigger when the data set is sparser. This implies that the proposed neighborhood modeling techniques benefits more on sparse interaction data. 
to investigate the impact of different structural neighbors. We select the nodes in one, two, and three hop as the structural neighbors and test the effectiveness. We find that the results of the first even layer are the best among this virus. This occurs with the initiation that users or items should be more similar to their direct neighbors than indirect neighbors. We further test the performance of proposed NCL architecture on other GM backbones. We observe that the proposed methods consistently improve the performance of NGCF, DGCF, and LightGCF. Finally, we plot the distribution of learned item embeddings with KDE in two-dimensional space. Compared with light design, those representations learned by NCL clearly exhibit a more uniform distribution, which have a better capacity to model the diverse user preference or atom characteristics. Overall, we proposed a novel contrastive learning paradigm named Neighborhood Enriched Contrastive Learning for Graph Collaborative Filtering. The key idea is to find the potential node relatedness in different way and capture it by contrastive learning efficiently. For future work, we aim to extend our framework to other recommendation tasks, such as sequential recommendation, and develop more general formulation for neighborhood enriched contrastive learning. Our code is also released and welcome staff. Thanks. Thanks, Ziha. Um, if there are no questions, uh, I'll wait, uh, you know, uh, 10 seconds for more questions to come on the chat. But meanwhile, I'll ask one question, which is, um, you're doing an EM along with you know, uh, learning the neural network, uh, how much in terms of uh, space or time complexity does that add and what is the scalability of your method? Well, uh, actually the EM algorithm is to uh, initially uh, optimize the uh, clustering algorithm and the GNA. Uh, so you, you can uh, choose uh, first uh, optimize the gene and then optimize the clustering algorithm. Uh, uh, the, the, the round, you, you can choose the round by, by yourself. Uh, it, it is, uh, uh, it, it doesn't result in the performance. Uh, so, we, we just uh, optimize them initially and uh, you can change it to uh, other ways. Got it. And how sensitive is it to, uh, you know, uh, your EM algorithm, uh, you know, and, and the clustering choice? Uh, actually, well, we, we didn't see much sensitive in our experiment uh, you can choose the clusters like uh, 100 and 500 uh, and the performance is is quite same okay super thank you